Hello, my dear doctor. Very, very good day today. So we'll discuss now a very important topic that is five star topic for your exam, my dear. That is called WPW syndrome. WPW syndrome, it does mean the, what is written in your notes. Just follow me. Wolf Parkinson White syndrome is caused by a congenital accessory conducting pathway between the atria and the ventricles leading to atrioventricular reentry tachycardia that is AVRT as the accessory pathway does not slow conduction of atrial fibrillation can degenerate rapidly to ventricular fibrillation possible ECG features include short period interval wide curious complexes with the slurred upstroke that is called the delta wave left axis deviation if right-sided pathway right axis deviation if left-sided pathway differentiating uh, between the type a and the type b the type a that is left-sided pathway dominant r even v1 type b is a right-sided pathway no dominant r even v1 what are the associations of wpw syndrome that is HOCM, mitral prolapse, Epstein anomalies, thyroidoxygosis, and secundum ASD. Management definitive treatment radiofrequency ablation of the accessory pathway and medical therapy like sotalol, imidron, flaconite. In Sotalol should be avoided if there is a coexistent atrial fibrillation as prolonging the refractory period at the AV node may increase the rate of transmission through the accessory pathway, increasing the ventricular rate and potentially deteriorating into ventricular fibrillation. So, my dear, so WPW syndrome is really a five star topic. Already we discussed in the ECG section about a little bit about the short peer interval and the causes of short peer interval that is the WPW syndrome. Yes, once again. So let's see how the SS box will be helpful in your WPW syndrome to remember all these things together. Yes, let's do it. So SS box. This box is so important. Let's see WPW syndrome. So once again, WPW syndrome is nothing but WPW. All right. So let's see how this W means. W means delta wave. We can say W means delta wave. Delta wave. Or we can write the delta wave at least we can remember this one w means delta wave delta is an integral part of ecg pictures of wbw syndrome and p for yes we can remember p r interval short and once again w means white q r s complex I hope that this box will be really really helpful to remember the WPW syndrome. So once again, let's do it. Say with me and do practice. W means delta wave. Yes, the delta wave. P for peer interval short. Yes, and W for white, white QRS complex. So this is the ECG pictures of WPW syndrome is equal to WPW. This box will be really, really helpful. Another box, my dear. I'd like to write this is box. Yes, WPW syndrome is due to the accessory pathway. So once again, we are dividing into the WPW left-sided pathway and right-sided pathway. So we made it the left the word we made it the left the word into left and we made the word the right that is yes bite so that will be helpful yes so left sided pathway means of course we can write 
left means just single things it will be remember left sided pathway means that is wpw type a and b means type b means once again that is the right sided pathway means the right sided pathway so once again say just wpw syndrome wpw syndrome type a left sided pathway left sided pathway type b right sided pathway right sided pathway at least we can understand so try to remember wbw syndrome type a left sided pathway means the left sided pathway wbw syndrome type b right sided pathway means the right sided pathway yes right sided pathway so how these ecg pictures we need to remember dominant r wave in v1 we can write dominant r wave in v1 but which is in right sided pathway the time b no dominant r wave in v1 that is one single differentiating point from ecg so then we can understand so once again the time a is a left sided pathway that will give you the right axis deviation and b for right sided pathway that will give you the left axis deviation so my dear this is very important to to help this box this box will be really helpful to remember about the wbw syndrome left sided left and right so once again wbw syndrome type a left sided pathway left sided pathway wbw syndrome type b right sided pathway right sided pathway so once again wbw syndrome type a left left sided pathway but they will have the dominant r wave in v1 in contrast the type b no dominant r wave once again wwb syndrome type a left sided pathway but that will give the right axis deviation and once again wwb syndrome type b that will give you the left axis deviation listen my dear a bit of confusion will be arise but this box will definitely get rid of any confusions you will be confident yes nowadays so one of the end the important thing is the wbw syndrome type a and type b but what you need to remember wpw syndrome equals you wpw type b another box another ss box will be helpful my dear so what is this wbw means wbw type b it does mean type b means right sided pathway means right sided pathway means left axis deviation and no dominant r wave in v1 so we can write that is b means right sided pathway means left axis deviation means no dominant r wave in v1 so this is the things that we need to remember why usually what happen in in a disease of type 1 or type a would be more common or uh, essentially more common but in wbw syndrome is just an exception right the wbw syndrome means the wbw wbw type b means right sided pathway left axis deviation and no r in v1 no dominant r wave in v1 another important thing that the regarding associations so i'd like to write another box it will be helpful ss box another box that is wpw syndrome is strongly associated with if i just turn the w so it will go up mvp mitral valve prolapse so w if you, if i turn it just it will go makes the m so we can remember mitral valve prolapse and once again w we can make the w like this all right what is that that is the abstinence anomaly means we can turn the w and it will go e so you can remember abstinence anomaly yes another important that is cardiomyopathy and the very strong association the cardiomyopathy the third association that we must remember 
that is cardiomyopathy means hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy these three associations that we need to remember so what we have done w we just make it reverse w so m all right mbp once again we can make it just reverse of the w make another turn on the left side and make it e so abstinence anomaly yes and the third is the hokam means hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy so these three associations that we must remember regarding wpw syndrome association next point is the management management of wpw syndrome is nothing but the accessory pathway so we need to treat definitive treatment that is radio frequency ablation of this accessory pathway now the question this accessory pathway and this wpw syndrome ecg can lead to another box what's the problem with the wpw syndrome having the patient in the short period interval and delta wave and qrs complex y they will have they will usually produce the wpw syndrome usually produce atrial fibrillation or they can produce avrt means atrioventricular re-entry tachycardia or re-entrant tachycardia that already we discussed in, in the in the topics of supraventricular tachycardia the most common of svt is avnrt but this wpw syndrome is responsible for producing avrt because of accessory pathway so wpw syndrome is responsible for avrt and they can produce also the af and both can ultimately can lead to ventricular fibrillation especially yes the atrial fibrillation can lead to ventricular fibrillation so this is very important this is very very important thing that we need to remember about the wpw syndrome what is the problem with the wpw syndrome so what i say wpw syndrome can lead to atrial fibrillation and they, this can degenerate into the ventricular fibrillation cardiac arrest death all right but also you must you people must remember that wpw syndrome is responsible for causing avrd versus av nrt so the wpw syndrome is not producing av nrt that already we discussed in the chapter of svt or in the topic of svt now the things of treatment so another box that will be helpful a very small box for wpw syndrome treatment wpw treatment this treatment of course the radio frequency ablation is the treatment of choice of the accessory pathway this is one important and of course because this these are producing atrial fibrillation also the avrt so the treatment of is once again we can write af equal to af treatment this box will be helpful a for amidron and f for flaconide and one of the most important thing that we need we need to remember of wpw syndrome mitre this is the most important box regarding the treatment that will be really helpful there is another box ss box i'm making a uh, red box that is wpw syndrome we shouldn't use diltia jam and verapamil and sometimes we are saying the digoxin also cannot should not be used and also we can write that we shouldn't use other drugs we need to remember this box what i said that diltiazem digoxin and verapamil i'm saying at least you must remember digoxin and verapamil these two drug shouldn't be used in wpw syndrome and also it is written in your notes that sotalol you can write uh, outside the box that is s sotalol shouldn't be used and uh, sotalol is nothing but the beta blocker beta blocker and sometimes it is said that the yes the adenosine also another drug shouldn't be used also in case of wpw syndrome but 
you people must remember D and V that is digoxin and verapamil these two drugs must not be used in a patient with the WPW syndrome as I say D for diltia them also so I have written the one two three four four or five drugs right all together that shouldn't be used in WPW syndrome among all these drugs I am saying WPW syndrome equal to DV is a red box is a red box shouldn't be used that is the uh, digoxin and verapamil the digoxin and verapamil is responsible why because they are acting on AV node block so AV node is blocked so the accessory pathway the the impulses will go to the accessory pathway and accelerates and they can degenerate also and they can precipitate the rates and leading to atrophication coming to the ventricular fibrillation so that is very much important that is very much important that in case of atrial fibrillation that we shouldn't use digoxin and verapamil my dear i'd like to summarize so that it will be really helpful for you guys yes let's see the wbw syndrome once again the boxes the number one box just revise once again wpw syndrome is nothing but wpw w means delta wave p means pr interval w means wide this three word will be helpful w p w delta pr and w for wide so three important features of ecg second box my dear i say the wbw syndrome is divided into the type a and type b so yes type a means the left left sided pathway left sided pathway type b means bi sided pathway right sided pathway so once again wbw syndrome type a left sided pathway right axis deviation dominant r wave in v1 in contrast wbw syndrome type b bi sided pathway right sided pathway left axis deviation and no dominant r wave in v1 another important box my dear the third box i said it ss box the wbw syndrome means wbwb type b rather than type a means type b is more common than that of the type a type b means bite means right yes the right means wbw syndrome just remember my dear that will be helpful so type b means once again remember type b means yes the bicycle pathway right side pathway left axis deviation and no dominant r wave in v1 so in ecg we are getting only these three important features wp w w for delta p for short p interval and w for once again white cure as complex and there will be left axis deviation there will be the left axis deviation only the pictures so that we can say this is wp w syndrome type b third and then the fourth box the fourth important box is the wpw syndrome associations so we just make w the letter just reverse it so it turned in the m so you can remember mvp we can make it just right turn so that make it abstains anomaly yes you can make the w sorry the left turn so it will go w turn into the e so e will be the remember of abstains anomaly and last once again myopathy so mvp myopathy and abstains anomaly this wpw syndrome really helpful to remember these three important associations my dear so this is the fourth box and next is the fifth box regarding the wpw syndrome wpw syndrome is an accessory pathway already we discussed about the AVRD and AVNRD in under under underlying of SVT. So my dear, this is the accessory pathway leading to yes, AVRD. We must remember a variety of supraventricular tachycardia and of course the atrial fibrillation. And this is dangerous to leading to the ventricular fibrillation. Just these two important things that we must remember for WBW syndrome. Means what's the problem with the WBW syndrome? If the patient have the accessory pathway. The patient have the easy pictures of WBW. Yes, the problem is they will lead to 
produce SVT, but this SVT is AVRT, another form is atrial fibrillation. Yes, atrial fibrillation can degenerate into the ventricular fibrillation. This is the danger. So the danger is this one, right? Now the sixth box. That is box once again. WBW syndrome treatment, my dear. Yes, because this is an accessory pathway, so we need to treat the patient by radio frequency ablation, right? You see the radio frequency ablation, frequency ablation of WBW syndrome, which is the definitive treatment. But if the patient having the AF means atrial fibrillation, we will treat the patient AF, so that will be helpful. So this treatment WBW syndrome, we can remember the AF and WBW syndrome AF, so that will be helpful. As already discussed in the in, in the chapter of AF means atrial fibrillation, there is WBW syndrome treatment is AF means AF frequency ablation or ablation frequency, the definitive treatment. Another AF E is once again amiodarone and flaconide. Amiodarone and flaconide. Of course, flaconide you can use starting and yes, but flaconide is contraindicated in a structural heart disease. But amiodarone can be used in structural heart disease. So what I say. In a side box of flaconide, flaconide is contraindicated. A side box, flaconide is contraindicated in a structural heart disease. Just structural. Flaconide structural. A small box for flaconide. But amedron can be used. So the next drug, what will be that? That is amedron. That box will be helpful to remember. Already we talked about this one in the chapter of atrial fibrillation or in the topic of atrial fibrillation and the last box my dear the seventh box of WBW syndrome yes once again WBW equal to DV we need to remember WBW equal to DV so this is the box of red box I'm seeing the red SS box my dear that will be really helpful DV means digoxin and verapamil Digoxin and parapamine DV, 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 WPW equal to DV. Yes, we must remember why because this digoxin and verapamine, if you use, you can block digoxin and verapamine blocks the atrioventricular nodes. So, whenever you have the accessory pathway, so you are making impulses transmitting more and more through the accessory pathway, leading to yes. The atrial fibrillation leading to ventricular fibrillation can be cardiac arrest. So yes, this is dangerous, the digoxin and verapamil. And next to the digoxin and verapamil, I said the other drugs D for diltia that you can remember is also calcium channel blockers. And also I said it A for adenosine and S for sotolol. Yes, the sotolol, adenosine, all are working on AV node. But my dear, I said DV, or you can remember all together ADVS. That will be helpful. So what I said, my dear, the first box WP W syndrome ECG picture equal to WPW. Second box type A and type B, A for left and B for bite sided pathway. And then third box WPW means the WPW type B means bite means right. Yes, once again. And fourth box the WPW equal to W turn that is MBP W then left turn leading to the Epstein's anomaly and myopathy and the fourth box equal to the WPW for the problem is AF and AVRT and sixth important box WPW treatment is AF yes once again this is the box that will be helpful AF for ablation frequency and also imidron flaconide must remember and seven box is WBW red box that is DV WBW equal to not DV digoxin and verapamil and these seven boxes are so important my dear very very important so that it will be really helpful for your whole life and it will be really really helpful for you answering questions with confidence thank you very much thank you once again